Welcome back to my channel for another December review and another Robert Kunkisches Forbeer Hell. This one is from Mühlenbräu in Mühlendorf and it comes in this NRW bubble and it uh, has a fish as their logo. Actually, I don't know why, but uh, that's what it is and it uh, looks like this. No back label and uh, nothing printed here on the cap. So it gives a little bit of uh, budget impression, but it seems like a really nice uh, small brewery. Here you can see Forbihel, and here is the logo with the fish of Mühlenbräu Forbihel. Uh, and I'm gonna give you some information about this brewery, of course. Uh, but first of all, let's. Uh, open up the bottle and I'm gonna read through the information also on this bottle of Mühlenbräu which is uh, this small brewery in, uh, in Mühlendorf it's called also Alte Mühle or Märklein which is Märklein's family name so let's open up the bottle of this Vollbier to try this and uh, of course I've been looking forward to it a lot uh, always the right time for uh, for Forbeer from uh, Franconia and there we have it the Mühlenbräu Forbeer looking very nice with a thick two finger white foam crown very pale in color also Let's get the aroma, which is really refreshing and nice, well balanced. So let's give it a try the Mühlenbräu Folbjörhel Prost. Of course. Really, really great, I would say. Well balanced, high quality raw materials, high quality craftsmanship, brewing process, also easy to discover in the taste for me as an experienced uh, beer taster. This one is uh, a great example of the style, uh, Franconian Fall Beer. Um, I'm gonna read through some information from this brewery I'm talking about on the, on the brewery's web website um, or not website because they don't have a website, but uh, on another website about Franco and Bruce. The Mühlenbräu on the river Aurasch was originally one of the oldest mills in Oberfranken, built uh, 1348 and 49. Around 1793, the mill was granted brewing and serving rights. Until the modernization in 1994, the brewery and the mill were still powered by water power and filled with wood. It has always had its own carp farm, which is why the fish can also be found on the coat of arms. When it comes to beer, you can't go wrong here. We definitely recommend the Ermitentrunk, a real monastery beer that was created on the occasion of the 700th anniversary of Mühlendorf. Um, Unfortunately, this isn't the Ermiten Trunk, uh, it's just the Folbihel, but it's a really, really nice one. And uh, we also got the explanation why they have a fish as their logo, this brewery. Really, really nice brewery, and also the same. Uh, the owner of this brewery is a relative to the owner of the Adlerbräu Schlüsselfeld. Now, Adlerbräu Stettfeld. And I'm going to review beers from Adlo Breustetfeld also in the future. Mark Lane is the same uh, family owner of these two breweries. This one is a great brewery. Um, so, yeah, big recommendations of uh, Mühlen Breu. Mühlen Breu with the fish. And Folbjörhel, as you can see, 
really really nice logo and of course it's gonna fit nice into my collection of Franco numbers. I'm gonna give you some information about this brewer also from my books that I'm learning about brewers in Franconia. We have this book right here and um, where is he? Mühlen boy and the information is um, Bier und Karpfen, die Mühlen boy an der Flüschen Aurach, das ursprüngliche eine der ältesten Mühlen Oberfrankens um, um uh, 1793 erhält die Mühle das Rau- und Schankrecht. Bis zur Modernisierung in 1994 waren Brauereien und Mühle noch Wasserkraft angetrieben und mit Horz gespürt worden. Mit dabei auch schon immer eine eigene Karpfensucht, weshalb sich der Fisch und Wappen in wiederfindet. In Sachen Bier kann man hier nichts verkehrt machen. Wir empfehlen aus jeder Fall der Ermittentrunk ein echtes Kloster, wie das ansehnlich der 700 Jahre Feierung Mühlendorfs kreiert würde. Wir sollten Pilz hell dunkel weißen. Uh, Bruce is, uh, Brewmasters ist Alphonsus und Georg Marklein, ein output 1200 Hektoliters, founded year 1793. So, it's. Um, it's an old brewer, I would say, and that's something positive. Um, and this Folbichel is really nice, I would say. I also have um, another book about Bruce and Franconi, as you know, which is this one right here. And um, here you see Mühlenbräu right here. Hopefully, you see the logo and uh, the look of the brewery right here on a small picture. Alphonse Merklein founded 1875. Wir sollten helles Pils dunkles Weißen. Um, I'll output 1600 hectoliters. Meist getrunken Pils und Dunkel. Bereinkasthof alte Mühle. Mühlen bräu Keller. Um, yeah, that's the information, and uh, it's um, it's a really great one. This Fallbichel, I can all, only recommend it for you. I can also mention the uh, information about the Gasthof from this book. Um, Drei Mühlsteine im Gastzimmer. Im Brauerei Gasthof Alte Mühle schenkt Familie Merklein ganz jährlich Pils, helles, dunkles und weißen aus. Dazu bieten die deftige fränkische Hausmannskost mit hausgemachten Klössen. Außerdem findet sich aus den Tellern Vorfälle, Waller, Heft und Sander sowie den Monaten mit Erbinnahmen ein eigen, eigenen Karpfen. Außerdem serviert die Familie zünftige Hausmacher Brotzeiten trocker gelassenes hausgerechten Schinken und Zwetschgebahnes aus eigener Aufsucht und Schlachtung. Ja, yeah, sounds very nice. No website for this brewery, I should say that. But this is a really, really great one. I hope you check it out if you can find it. Ja, yeah, that's it for now with the Mühlenboy von Wilhelm. As used to say, I hope you like my views and that you look forward to my next Franconian beer view. And um, yeah, see you in the next Franconian beer view.